Welcome back to World History. I am Mr. McCall. Today we're going to discuss the evolution of Sumerian written language from pictographs to cuneiform. Now cuneiform is widely considered the very first written language, so it's very important that we understand how it developed. And for that, today we are going to pretend to be Sumerian farmers. Not just any Sumerian farmers, we are sheep herdsmen. We're, we've domesticated sheep, and we're going to see how many we can gather. All right, so this first year, uh, we've, this is how many sheep we've got. I think we're going to be all right. We're going to survive. Uh, I'm going to count them up, and I'm going to put a, a token in for each sheep that I have. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20, 21. i got 21 sheep. And uh, this is how I'm going to keep track of how many sheep I have. It's very important for taxes. For me to pay my taxes, uh, I have to know how many sheep I have, how many I've got in my herd. All right? So it was a good year. Now we're going to fast forward to the next year. We come back. Let's check in our, in our flock and see how many we have for this year. Holy smokes. We have quite a few. Uh, that's, that's a lot more sheep. And uh, they seem to be getting a lot uh, hairier. A lot uh, more wool is growing on them. And we've got a problem. Our problem is this. Uh, I was carrying the tokens, and I started counting up the sheep, and the, the, the bag I was using just broke. There's too many tokens. So we can't use the tokens anymore. All right, that's not working. So we're going to have to stop that. So here's, here's what I came up with. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a sheep farmer, uh, sheep herdsman, and ancient sumer. Here's what I got. I'm going to start doing, uh, I got this clay tablet. Uh, I'm going to do a tally for each sheep. This isn't heavy at all. I can just tally all day. All right, so we've got a lot of sheep. I got a lot of tally marks. All right. So I got my clay tablet, and I'm putting in my tally marks. And I keep tallying until I've got all my sheep tallied. Remember, this is important. You've got to pay your taxes, so you got to know how many sheep you have. So that works for this year. We had a lot of sheep. It was a good year, though. All right, so let's go to the next year. Oh, my goodness. There is no way. No way. From how many sheep we started out with to now... We are just fabulously successful sheep herdsmen. All right, so let's start counting these. Oh, it's getting kind of messy. Uh, uh, it's getting kind of, oh, no, that's, oh, uh, see. Uh, towards the end here, I started getting sloppy, and you can't really read how many sheep I have. That's not going to work. So here's what we'll do. We'll come up with it. A different system. We're, we're sheep herdsmen in ancient Sumer. We're going to come up with a different system that, that'll work better for us. That's not as sloppy. As you get too many tally marks, you can't read them. All right, so that's one. That's our symbol for one. Our symbol for five, let's make it this, a triangle. All right, and our symbol for ten, let's make it, uh, let's make it a circle. All right, so that's our symbol for 10. We've got 1, 5, 10. So I can just do a couple of circles. Actually, it looks like several circles. But I think you get the picture. Instead of doing tallies, I can do circles. And I have my sheep. So Basically, what we have here are pictograms. Pictographs. We have pictures that represent a idea, a number. This is essentially the birth of writing. The ancient Sumerian farmers are using pictures to represent ideas. First time in human world history this occurs. And what this leads to is a system that looks like this. This is basically what they were using, the Babylonian system. So this is uh, 
out of ancient Sumer, we have uh, what they were using. The wedges, uh, the triangles that you see, are the uh, from the stylus. When they punched the, the reed stylus, kind of like a pen, into the uh, wet clay tablet, it left kind of a wedge. So each time they're poking that uh, clay tablet, it leaves a, a triangle. So it's not as, as hard as it would seem to draw all these triangles. You don't actually draw the triangles. You just poke it in, draw a line. All right. So that's how they're, they're doing each of these. And this is their system of counting. It's very much different than the one I came up with, but I'm not Sumerian. Only pretending. All right. And what does that lead to? Well, that leads to cuneiform. They start off with numbers, and then they start to spread out. They start to add other things. They have, they have their writing for numbers, and then they start writing for, let's say, sheep. They, they come up with a, a picture for sheep. Uh, they come up with pictures for everything, and then they put it on lines like this. And that is writing. That is the birth of writing. Now, for all my math fans out there, Ms. Douglas, the first writing came hand in hand with the development of numbers. This is Sumerian cuneiform, wedge form writing. That is our lesson for today. What we were discussing today was the evolution, the changing over time of Sumerian written language from pictographs to cuneiform. I hope it's been edifying. This has been World History with Mr. McCall. Take care.